few months back, I bred some of my Danios, and when I was breeding my Danios, I thought it'd be a fun idea to cross some of the different types and strains of Danios to see what fry we would get. Now, since a few months has passed, I've actually grown up all the fish that we've bred, and we can actually see all the different types of Danios that we did produce with this cross. So when we bred the Danios, I crossed some longfin leopard Danios, and I crossed some gold zebra Danios. So it's a bit of a weird cross. Normally I think people would cross like a leopard Danio and a zebra Danio and see what happens, but I wanted to do some of the like, you know, more interesting strains of Danios to see what we'd get now. Danios are a super easy fish to breed. They're very prolific and we bred these guys in tubs. So that was really cool to see, but it looks like we've got the full spectrum of fish here. We've got everything from gold leopard Danios to common zebra Danios to longfin zebra Danios to long thin gold zebra danios, like there's all different types of fish in here. So what we're gonna do is catch out all the danios and show you all the different types that we got. I'll go ahead and get a container. These guys are very swimmy. Probably already caught some from doing this. Yeah, there we go, already caught a few. So what we'll do is just go ahead and take a big scoop and I guess manually sort them out, I don't know. Fish. Okay, so we have a little sample here of the Danios. Now, in this sample, I can already see a bunch of different types. So what we have in here is some short fin gold leopard Danios, some short fin gold zebra Danios, some long fin common zebra Danios. Yeah, that seems to be what we have in here. I don't know if we have any short fin common zebra Danios in here, but there's a whole bunch of different types in here. I might even get another scoop of them and see what other styles there are. Okay, so I got another sample here. So yeah, it seems like more of the same in this batch. Some are more gold than the other ones. In particular, I think the golden leopard ones are more gold than the golden zebra ones. So that's really interesting because we didn't actually start with any gold leopard danios. I haven't actually seen gold leopard danios. Like, I'm obviously probably not the first person to make these, but they do look pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is separate them out and we can individually have a look at all the different types. Alrighty, so I've just gone ahead and separated out the different types so we can look at each different type of strain. So from what it seems, mostly what we've produced is gold zebra danios. There's also the gold leopard danios and then there's long fin zebra danios. There's nothing really else than that. So there's three different types. So we'll take a look at the golden leopard danios first. So you can see these guys here now, because they swim so quick, it's gonna be really hard to like get a good focus on them. They look exactly like the golden zebra danios, except they've got the leopard pattern. These guys appear to be a little bit more golden than the other zebra danios, but it all depends on each different fish. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about them. They look a little bit more clear, but we did produce some golden leopard danios, which is really cool. I haven't seen these in store, but like I said, I'm sure someone else has made them before. Now we can take a look at these longfin zebra danios, which a lot of people have seen before. These guys are just your common zebra danio with some long fins. They look a little bit like an arowana, but like really, really miniature and a lot cheaper. But they do look really cool. I'm surprised we produced these. We've obviously carried the zebra gene into the longfin danios. It's really interesting that we didn't produce any longfin leopard danios because that's what we started with. Instead, we produced longfin zebra danios. I don't really have a good understanding of genetics, but I have found this really, really interesting. And then we can finally take a look at these, which are the golden zebra danios. So we did start with some of these, and these seem to be the most dominant fish in the whole batch. There's lots and lots of them. Yeah, these are just a zebra danio, but golden, and they're exactly the same as the golden leopards. They've just got the zebra pattern. By themselves, they don't look very cool, but when we take them all together in a school like this, they look absolutely mesmerizing. And these are really, really cheap and affordable fish. So what I'd recommend if you wanna breed some Danios is go and get a bunch of different types, mix them together, and then if you want a big school of them, you're gonna get a big mixed school like this. And it looks absolutely amazing. Now, if in Australia we were allowed to keep some glowfish, I would have definitely done this with the glowfish and made blue ones and red ones and all that kind of stuff. But we don't have that luxury. We have to stick to these different, you know, common types, but I think this project really showed us what you can do here with a little bit of money, a little bit of time and effort. You can create a real cool bunch of fish. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And yeah, I hope you found it fascinating. I found it real cool. So 
Let me know if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.